Hey everyone, this is Code Forces around eight seventeen D four one seven double two C. Third problem of the contest, that is word game. So the story is like there are three players. Let's call them A, B, C, and uh, each of them writes n distinct words of three characters each. Okay, and if there is a game, there should be a scoring mechanism, right? So here, uh, how the scoring is done is since everyone is writing like three words. If uh, they will pick a word, if A writes a word, uh, the word has been compared with B and C. If B also return the same word as A and C also return the same word as A, then A doesn't get a point. And if either one of them B or C writes that word, then A gets one point. And if both A, B and C do not write the word A wrote, A gets three points. So this is for one word. So for each of the word that A wrote. He gets uh, the corresponding points. So similarly for B and similarly for C, let's uh, jump straight to the example. So if you see here, right, A wrote uh, three words, B wrote three words, C wrote three words. O R Z. B wrote uh, O R Z and C did not write it, so only one of them wrote. So A gets one point. For for is written by all three, so no point. Q A Q. It's written by B. Only one guy, so it's uh, one point. Similar, so one plus one that is two, and let's say for the C case, C O D is not written by both of them. He gets three points. Four is written by everyone, so he doesn't get a point. And C E C is also C E S is also not written by both. He gets three points. Three plus three six. So our motive is we have to just calculate the points. So programmatically, uh, how we will do it? So there are like number of ways we can do it, but uh, to make do it very fast, what we can do is. We can take uh, a set that is like three rows in the set, and uh, we don't have to consider about orders or something because everything will be in distinct words. There won't be any repeatable words also. So what we have to do is we'll take a word and we'll just check whether the uh, next element of the set that is uh, if we have like three sets together. I I am considering a set as an array. So S C of zero is the first set, S C of one is the second set, and S C of two is the third set. If S C of zero of this element is contained in B and C, then we'll check like that, and S C of uh, one will check for this, and S C of two will do for the same. S C of zero will iterate over these three elements. So I can show you that in the code. So uh, first, what I'm doing is I'll create three rows. Uh, so three of the rows will be like a set. Now uh, I have to take uh, the number of rows are static. That is three. I have to take the strings. So that is n strings will be there, right? So for each of the thing, I am appending the uh, string. Suppose a row of zero is the person A. A will store all the strings. B will store all the strings, and C will store all the strings. It's so trivial. Now coming to the scoring part. First, uh, what we have to do is we have to consider only the uh, score. Uh, that the A can get, so that's why I kept outer loop. So this handles the number of rows. Score equal to zero before proceeding to A, and then we'll iterate over the set. That is row of I. That is row of zero. A's value alone. Now here I did some interesting part. So if row of I plus one mod three. That is if I is zero. If row of one uh, is having uh, the word A wrote and row of two. Is also having uh, the word A wrote. He can he don't have to do anything. Its score is zero. If any of them is having, if row of one is having or row of two is having uh, A's word, score plus plus. If no one is having, score plus equal to three. But why did I do mod here? I can show you that. So if you see here, right? Uh, if row I is zero, what will be the next element? Zero plus one mod three is one. Uh, zero plus two mod three is two. Now, when i equal to one, one plus one mod three is two. Uh, one plus two mod three, one plus two is three. Three mod three is zero. When i equal to two, two plus one mod two plus one is three. Three mod three is zero. And two, two plus two, uh, four. Four mod three is one. So as you see here, if I'm taking a value, I don't have to compare everything like zero. If it is zero, then compare with one and two. If it is one, compare with two and zero. It's not like that. 
so this is an iteration it since it's like a circle like one two three here if one is there i'll take two three two is there three and uh, if one is here uh, two and zero it's like that so that's why i considered this one i hope uh, then i'll calculate the score then on the next iteration row becomes one score will be again zero then since i told the process it will be the same so this is the same one so when i execute it i see the output is same now we'll submit this uh, probably it should work so we see that uh, it is running on test state and it's accepted simple thank you